Well, I never thought that this would happen. I'm not supposed to do that. Today's gonna be a fun day. It's a little chilly out, but I need some time-lapse videos. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive around some areas and some spots I've seen when I've been running, cycling, or on my bike where, where I've thought that this would be a good place for time-lapse. So I'm gonna bring my equipment. We're gonna check out what I bring. So gonna go over some few tips and tricks for anyone that wants to do some time-lapse and get into it. It's a lot of fun. You can get really creative with this stuff and to see your kind of work later, it's, it's an art form and it really is. It's fun. Uh, the best part of doing time lapses is you, you get an idea of where you want to, oh, I, this would be perfect for time lapse. And then you go and set the camera up, whether you have to figure out how to mount it on a tripod or on a, some kind of angle or on the rock. You, you get very creative with this. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, you, you end up putting the camera, either your phone or a camera, just on somewhere that's just stationary because you have all these ideas of how it's going to look. And then you go back, look and look later. You're like, oh, wow, that's exactly how I wanted to come out. Or you look at it and be like, that's what? No, that was terrible. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the equipment we're gonna bring. All right, let's see what we got here. First, we're gonna bring everything in a teardrop bag. This is so I can have my Canon camera that I'm using right now, which is a T5i 700D. I'm gonna bring an Amazon tripod I have, which is about a 60 inch tripod. That's gonna be my main go-to tripod, which is gonna be holding this camera, which is a Sony A5000. This is gonna be the main camera I use for the time lapse. As I download a time lapse app, I have some settings set up there. It's going to come out pretty good. I would normally use my phone, which I use a frame lapse app. And this is a good option, but this is like a, I'm walking around and I see something and I have my phone, so I'm going to go to that. I use a lot of this for Italy and it actually does come out really well, but this will take it up to a whole new level. Bring an extra spare battery just in case I run out of that one. I've charged these beforehand. This is an actual battery pack charger, like used for cell phones, but it can be used with this phone. Here's a Gorilla-ish type tripod with a level or a, a screwed on top. I might use that for tight places where I can't mount this tripod. We'll see. A lens cleaner, just in case I get any debris on there. Selfie stick, not going to really be using. Uh, this will be for the microphone I have attached up to here, which is going to be the Tagstar. Uh, this won't be used for the time lapse, just for this vlog, just in case you want to know. Here is a mini tripod mount holder, and that's going to be a part with this uh, piece right here, which will clamp onto the cell phone itself. Um, that way I can mount that sometimes, otherwise I tend to end up just like having my phone um, lean against something to take time lapses to get the lens angle there. Um, that works, but that's a better option. I'm going to bring a lens kit just in case too for the cell phone, just in case I want to get some different cooler shots. And I'm bringing my Snapchat remote for snapping this later. If you want to see more information about this, I highly recommend you check it out my how to, how to make better Snapchats video. Alright, let's pack this bad boy up and let's go. So first things first, I want to stop and get some breakfast, get some fuel in my stomach before I go out there and let the day warm up a little bit more. So part of the challenges of this though is thinking of ideas of where to go. I have a few that I have, okay, like I said, running around, cycling around on my motorcycle, but now I'm just trying to think of the time of day, where the sun's at, where the best place would be to take the next shot. So right now I'm using this time to clear my head and brainstorm. Brainstorm. Makes me think of my brain in Jupiter. I don't know why. Storm. Brain. Uh, Alright, I think I have a spot picked out. I have a spot in mind. Let's see. Welcome to a bridge over I-94. This is a bridge I normally ride through 
with my road bike when I'm doing some cycling. And a few weeks ago I had the idea of this would be a great place for doing a time lapse. Now, the problem with this stuff is that in this area, I, I live in a suburb area, so it's not like I live downtown in the city of Chicago where I can take really awesome time lapses really high up of skyscrapers or the water or, or cars. Right here is kind of the next best thing I'm gonna get. Why I chose this spot is cars move fast. Fast moving objects are pretty good for time lapse. And what you wanna to remember too is the faster the object goes, the lower you wanna put the interval of seconds. Like, I'm gonna shoot this at one second, maybe two. With people, I usually use two seconds too, sometimes five seconds. With clouds, a little bit higher. And stars, you go a little higher again. Like clouds is about five to 10. Stars, you do about 30. Just remember, the faster the object is, the lower you wanna set the interval. The slower the object is, the higher you wanna set the object is. That's the general rule of thumb with doing time lapses. I strongly feel like this shot right here is like I'm doing a documentary or a crime scene of a guy talking about it like you see in those TV shows like it's been reported that the murders happened a few years back by a guy named Todd Murderson. Tom it looks like there's a big accident here on I-94 cars are just lining up we'll get back to you right now we're gonna get you a view from the chopper hey what would this be without my humor and my jokes all right right now let's get set up to do a shot of a time lapse over this area I'm gonna bust out the Sony get everything set up I do use manual focus in this part I am worried a little about this fence being in the way. I know there's not a fence on the other side, but it's gonna be kind of hard to put up a tripod with cars going by that might run into me without any protection. It's literally, here's the edge of the road on the bridge, and here's where cars travel. Here I got a nice little walkway, as you kind of, as a nice little walkway, as you can tell. So I'm gonna do my best to get a nice setup. All right, so I just got the camera all set up. Let's take a look here really quick. You should be able to hear every, clicking every one second. I have the interval set to one second for the fast moving cars. So I was letting it go and I guess the wind knocked the tripod over. It's completely broken. In the arms of the angel. I can't believe that just happened. I'm pretty bummed. Let that be a lesson to you. I always have the tripod stand out as far as, as far as it goes. I didn't because I was trying to be kind and courteous to give people that were walking through here more space. How stupid of that was of me. Oh, I'm so upset. Shh, I, I can't believe that happened. That's not supposed to look like that. Well, time for plan B, which I was going to do anyways, just not under these circumstances. I'm using my cell phone now to take a time lapse. Hopefully the video finished on the Sony that we could still have something to compare to. Of course, my mom's calling me too. <laughs>